Welcome everybody, this is Samsung DeX running on the S24 Ultra and also using the latest One X6.1.1. So to start with, I'm going to use the Multistar, which is one of the good locks model to enhance your experience in multi-windows. So something called here, I love Samsung DeX. High resolution for external displays. All right, and honestly, it's still FHD guys, but then uh, you can run more than five apps at the same time, which we're gonna test, and um, there are some other things. So right now we have uh, one up, two up. So, okay, let's put it there. Let's try to minimize it, you know. This works quite nice just with a double click. So let's open Google Play Store. All right, let's open the internet. Okay, and also I can do on top of this, let's just try to open my files. All right, and then I'm gonna go here and also open YouTube, so one, two, three, four, five. Uh, we need another one. And this other one, let's just try to go and pick, for example, the Samsung Helper. Okay, so for sure you can run multiple apps. And now what you can do with the Windows, guys, if you go here, right, you're gonna see this is the menu of Samsung Dex. From here, we are able to do a split screen with on all of those, which is not that bad, so now I can get my files and this. Uh, it's pretty standard. You can, of course, do this on your phone. Still feels a bit choppy, but overall it just gives you the power to use your Samsung One Year experience supercharged with AI and also use it with an external keyboard and a mouse. So I'm gonna be testing in this video what you can do. Can we use a DeX and the latest Samsung Galaxy AI? Yeah, we can. To just use that AI magic here. So for example, sketch to image, I don't want to use my S Pen, I want to use my finger. So let's say I want to use something with my hand drawn like this. So, all right. Let me just try to draw an animal and I tested it so many times. Every time I do get a nice, cool, random animal so I can go full screen. So for sure, Dex works with AI and the Galaxy AI in specific. And of course, it allows <laughs> you to get these nice and funny results. So sketch to image potentially will also work via your mouse, uh, which is of course understandable. And the first thing I wanna show you guys is something cool. Now you know there is something called Studio, which is actually a built-in video editor. And the cool thing about this is you can use it of course directly on your phone as I did multiple times, but just imagine that you can also use this on a bigger screen, which means that you can record videos you know, with the Samsung phone, in my case, the S24 Ultra, and you're also able to edit those videos, apply different transition, uh, add music, you know, apply different cuts. So this is really powerful, and I'm not sure if a lot of people are covering this, specifically the one that are showcasing decks, but this is for sure something uh, to be considered, because again, not only can you cut the videos, you can, for example, apply different transitions here. There are some nice filters, by the way, so dissolve or fade, all right, and then what I'm saying is you can record your videos directly on your phone and then just hook it up on your PC and then you're gonna be even able to edit your videos. Now don't expect, you know, like some fancy things, but the standard stuff are here, you can add text, you can add stickers, you can also add music, like different music. And of course, then at the end, when you're done with this, you are able to export it. Uh, and I think the limitation is it cannot yet export 4K60, but definitely, to be considered so video editing on decks kind of makes sense there is also a way for you to invoke the sketch to image which is not that bad and do also funny stuff with this while they're using samsung Note. so definitely wow <laughs> this is really 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 cool uh, it means that you can also try to create some nice stuff by the way so i can add this to the note definitely see just from that we get this this is just amazing so let me just try to create a logo for myself. So what I can do, potentially go here, click on sketch to image. Then I wanna trace around the drawing that I wanna transform. Uh, now let's hope that the AI will create something cool that we can potentially use uh, as your logo or just as a thumbnail or just having fun with this. But the truth is it is indeed powerful. Yeah, it can create some nice stuff. What I want to check right now is if I'm able to get this fancy new stuff. Oh, it's here. So a live effect. Let's see if that will work. So also uh, the AI photos manipulation seems to be working pretty, pretty well uh, on the Dex mode, of course, in the PC. 
Uh, now let's just see if we can get also the new portrait functionality. Uh, it's gonna be, usually it will appear here. Let's try to click on uh, this AI stuff. Portrait Studio, all right, so Portrait Studio, now let's just hit sketch. Yeah, this is kind of cool. If you want to edit your photos on a bigger screen and not do this in post, and just let's say you wanna use the new Samsung AI Galaxy AI functionalities, then just know it will work directly on your PC. So sometimes the results are satisfactory, sometimes it's a bit weird. Let's just also try to test the 3D cartoon. But what is good to know is that you can also apparently use all the AI functions on photos and videos and also sketch the image directly on a bigger screen. <laughs> Also, what I can do, guys, I want to test out the latest functionality of dragging and dropping your folder. So let's say right now I'm going to take the music folder, right, and put it there. Okay, you can move files between your computer and phone with a simple drag and drop. Okay, so this is something that you can, by the way, do directly on your phone using the My Files. Again, it's one of the latest productivity hacks. You can get details on that folder and of course you can also remove it. Let's open the voice recorder. I want to see some of the AI functionalities if I'm able <coughs> to use decks like this. Hi guys, it's VST. Welcome to my channel. This is a video about using Samsung DeX running on the S24 Ultra and also trying to use the latest AI edition. See how good they are when you use a desktop mode. Should be pretty much the same, but also maybe a bit better with the keyboard and mouse. Let's check. Analyzing recording securely. So I was not thinking it from that angle, but it seems that with some of the AI tools, like specifically things that are related to manipulating text and images and videos and photos, also voice, might be not that bad if you have DeX and you want to use it on a desktop mode. It's still laggy by the way, and it feels also a bit slow. It might be also because I'm using uh, um, the highest available resolution as I'm bringing you this video in the best possible resolution. Now let's click here for in translation. Now what this is gonna do guys, it's gonna translate it into Spanish. I think those are the languages that I have. Um, I guess it's still translating some part of it, but what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna hit the summarize button and see how this will play out. So I'm just gonna click generate a summary and try to see the points. All right, and then for, I can add this in a new note. All right, you can see, oh, this is really way too big. So. Can I do control A? Yes, I can do control A, which is kind of cool. It gives me really like, yeah, this almost desktop experience. I uh, cannot make it smaller, sadly. Uh, but there's also an option to do further AI manipulation with this. So let me just try to copy this. And uh, what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna create a brand new note, see if that works. All right, so let's create a brand new note. I'm gonna put it there. Okay, so copy and pasting absolutely works. And now guys, do I see here the Galaxy A button? I do see it, so I'm just gonna press auto format, headers and bullets, okay, this looks so much better. Uh, and then also what I wanna do is, let's translate it back to English. All right, generate translation. So now I'm just going to do Spanish to English, so back, okay. So I'm gonna replace the old text, and then I'm gonna press Galaxy A again, summarize it. It's already a summary, by the way, so let's do a summary of the summary. <laughs> I can even further replace it. So the things with AI, when you use it on your phone, it might not be always like so productive. Again, you're limited just from the form factor. But if you have a Samsung phone and using Samsung AI, and then of course you also use this um, with a combination of, with X, then it might actually be not that bad. So now let me just try to draw here a house. Okay, so this is again the sketch to image. Definitely for sketch to image, it's far better for me to use it directly with my mouse. The other, of course, option is to use it with the S Pen. This seems to be working and it's quite nice. Ha! Okay, not that bad at all, all right? Jesus, the Samsung Galaxy Eye is really cool. So I'm gonna save a copy here. Also for things like Magic Eraser, you can also try to do things. So you can press edit here. We can click on an object eraser from here. Uh, and then select also the magnetic. Oh, we can, okay, magnetic lasso is selectable. So let's try to erase this. All right, I'm just gonna do it like that. Okay, the moment this starts to blink, absolutely perfect. Now I'm gonna hit the erase button. So for image manipulation, this might be, uh, you know, a good way to do so. Let's check Samsung internet as it also have a lot of things there. Let's open BBC just out of nowhere. Okay, summarization works here, that's fine. 
So Galaxy AI and Dex is not uh, that bad of a combination. You just get to use it on a bigger screen and yeah, you don't have to use the S Pen or your fingers tapping on the screen because you can use a proper keyboard and a proper mouse, which has a lot of benefits if you want to just edit some things or let's say work on documents, it could be also a way for you to go. Let's run some games. Uh, I don't think that this is going to end up good. As indicated here, I'm not really able to click with my mouse, so it's not that great. Let's try to see if this limitation is on all of the games or only on some games. See here, some games only work on touchscreen. Now, if you're not familiar, <laughs> this is the Nether Essex 2. So what it practically will do, it will run God of War. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, and it's by the way 4K because the emulator, I think yeah, I pump it up now. Yeah, doesn't really work. Would have been interested to try to see uh, how it would have been. I really hope that you have enjoyed this video, guys. And uh, if you do, so you know what to do. Thank you so much for watching. VST over and bye.